Hey everyone and welcome back for today's video. Today I'm going to be hauling a couple bits that I've recently picked up. Um, I'd say within the last month or so, these are all beauty items. I have picked up quite a few clothing items that I have honestly collected over such a long amount, amount of time that I'm not sure if it's like worth showing you guys. So let me know in the comments if you would still like to see a like haul video with clothes. But this is just going to be just beauty products for you guys today. Now before I jump into this video, I just want to start out by saying I'm really, really sorry. I know I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube. I was just away on a cruise for about two weeks, so I had no Wi-Fi, no internet, no way of me to upload videos. So I'm really, really sorry about that, but I'm back on it now. I'm going to be back on it for the rest of the summer. So let me know your requests below for upcoming videos. I'm also going to link in the description box my Instagram, if you guys aren't following me on, on there, you guys can follow me on there, and I post some updates that I don't necessarily post on here, and also I'm going to link my Depop, I've got a Depop, and I'm going to be selling quite a few clothes on there, so I'm going to go ahead and link both of those things in the description box, if you guys are interested you can go and check them out, but let's just jump straight into these goodies. Okay, the first item that I have here was completely inspired by Shani Grimmond here on YouTube. She uses this product all the time in her tutorials, and I always feel like her bronzer looks absolutely beautiful, so I had to purchase one myself. This is the Give Me Sun bronzer by MAC. I'm going to link all the products below, so don't worry, and I'm also going to link all the prices because I can't remember them off the top of my head, but I'll link all that information below for you guys. Um, this bronzer is gorgeous. As you can see, it's quite orangey toned. Um, I've had some of these bits for a while, so I have tried this out and it is quite orange, but it's really nice when you've got a tan. As you can see, I'm quite tanned at the moment, um, just from being on holiday and stuff. This works really, really well if you've got sort of a slightly darker, warmer skin tone. Um, when I'm fairer, I think this would just be too orange for me, but right now it's really, really lovely. Um, I love these kind of MAC, like baked bronzer um, products as well, and I love these new, they're still new to me, um, like MAC packaging, which has the magnetic closure. It's just so satisfying. But yeah, I'm really happy I picked this up. It was definitely a great purchase and a great recommendation by Shani. So yes, finally got my hands on the MAC Give Me Sun. The next product I picked up is the Iconic Soft and Gentle by MAC. As I'm sure you guys have heard about this, um, unfortunately I've actually owned two of these in the past, both of which have smashed in my makeup bag, so fingers crossed this is not going to be another one that chooses to smash my makeup bag. I'm really worried about that, I don't know what it is, it might just be me, I might just be really rough with like my products in my makeup bag and that's how they get crushed and like, ruined, because this is one of my favourite highlights, if you guys have not tried this out, I really think it's really worth trying out, it's really really beautiful. As you can see, it's kind of like this just pink, but it's got like gold shimmers running through it. It's one of my favourite highlighters, as I'm sure it's one of like everyone here on YouTuber's favourite highlighters. Um, it's just such a lovely pigmentation to it. A lovely sort of like pinky colour, and I think it suits quite a lot of skin tones. Um, there it is, as you can see. It's Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I had to pick it up. Fingers crossed this one won't smash. I'm going to be a lot more careful with it because I know that it can. So, um, yeah, I've just got to be a bit more careful with it. I couldn't not get it again. It's just one of my favourite products. Okay, guys, the next thing I picked up was this Painterly Paint Pot. Um, I've never really be been into paint pots. I know a lot of people here on YouTube have been. I've never really been someone that's, like, gravitated towards them or felt the need to have one until I watched this girl. I think she's called Kate Hayes Makeup on Instagram. I will link her below because she's incredible. Um, and she had, like, one makeup tutorial here on YouTube. I think the rest you have to, like buy because she's like a professional makeup artist and she goes into so much depth in her tutorials so um yeah but I watched one of her videos that you can watch here on YouTube and she used this all over the eyelid as a base and I've also seen quite a few girls use it kind of how I ended up using it today so I did my smoky eye as you guys can see and then on the lid I wanted to keep that quite neutral and quite light so I went back in with the paint pot and just used that on the center of my lids I hope that makes sense I can do a tutorial using this paint pot if you want a bit more of an explanation on how I actually use this. And then after I've just used it on the lids, I just set it with a light eyeshadow. This, I can tell already, is gonna be like a holy grail item. I've honestly used like my sister's one, sorry Liv, um, so, so, so much lately. Like I just think it's a staple, it's a great base all over the lid. It's great for what I've just done. It's really good if you're learning how to do cut crease, which is something I'm trying to get to grips with. Um, yeah, and it's really good if you want that really dark, smoky eye, but you want it to kind of start from a really light, neutral colour. Um, 
so yeah I think again I'm gonna have to go and try all of them out but um, I just started off with the classic painterly one and the next two things I picked up from MAC kind of come in hand in hand. Um, the first one is the MAC 210 brush. I'm going to have to paint over this in clear nail polish because I don't know if anyone else has these uh, MAC brushes. But the writing tends to kind of rub off. So yeah, I'm going to have to sort of like paint over that with some clear nail polish to stop that from rubbing off. Because otherwise I don't know the numbers of my brushes. Sorry for that tangent, but I just felt I needed to tell you that. Um, anyway, this is the MAC 210. It is a tiny, 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 skinny little brush, and it's incredible for eyeliner. It's what I use today for my wing liner. Um, yeah, it's just, it is really, really great. I've used one of these before, and I did really like it. So I had to go and buy another one because mine went missing. Um, but yeah, this this one I think is a bit of an, worth an investment because I haven't seen too many lower end brands that have such a fine little brush. If you guys know of any, let me know because um, I'll definitely purchase one from them because it's really great to have so many brushes just if some aren't clean and things like that. But yes, I picked this up from MAC because I couldn't resist. And to go along with that, I also picked up the MAC Black Track Pro Longwear Fluid Line. Now, a little rant on these, I used to purchase these quite a lot when I, when I was really, really young, like 13, 14, and I really got on well with them, but I didn't use eyeliner that often, that they used to dry out, and it was nothing to do with the consistency, really, it was to do with the fact that I just did not use them enough, so when I did go to use them, they were dried out. I then went on to the Bobby Brown, um, like, gel liners like these, and I did like them and I used them for years, but actually what I think is they dry out worse than the MAC ones. The MAC ones are really quite good at drying out. I don't know if it's, if it's the lid, like locks in, doesn't let any air into the product, I don't know. This is quite messy as you guys can see, I've not even had this that long and it's already really messy. I've been using this as my eyeliner every single day, it's replaced my liquid liners. Um, I really like gel liner, I think the reason I like it is you have that kind of, especially with a thin brush, opportunity to just like do whatever sort of flick you want and you've got a lot more control. So. Yeah, this gel liner has become one of my staples and absolutely love it. It's just in black tracks, so it's just the darkest one. Um, I know they also do a really, really nice blue that I used to own, so I might have to go and purchase that one. I think it's called Waveline. Okay guys, so that is it for all my MAC products. I'm just going to show you super quickly at the end. I thought I would just throw this in. Um, sorry if you're not interested in these bits, but I just thought I'd just throw them in for you guys at the end. A few pieces that I picked up recently. The first ones are from Debenhams. I've had these quite a while, as you guys might already know if you follow me on Instagram. I put, did a post about these a while ago, but I thought I'd show you them nonetheless. Um, the first one is the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation, and I love this. When I first purchased it, I was not sure, but I'm absolutely loving it. So um, let me know if you guys want an entire review on this or anything like that. I'm sure you guys already have heard about this, but it's incredible. I've got the shade Light Beige. It's way too light for me at the moment. Definitely need a darker shade, um, but it's really, really lovely. It gives quite a nice coverage to the skin. It's buildable. Um, it's not heavy. It's not thick. It's everything I actually really like in a foundation. So I think that might become one of my favourite ones, which is a little bit frustrating because it is quite expensive, but it's a lovely foundation and I love the packaging. I really appreciate like a glass bottle. I know they're not great for travelling, but just feel so much more durable. And the next two things I got from Too Faced are these melted lipsticks. I've been eyeing these for ages, I've wanted these for ages, and me and my friend went to Westfield, and we just had like a crazy moment where we bought way too much stuff that day. Um, so yeah, I ended up buying two of these. I got the shade Nude and the sh shade Sugar. I don't know if I would repurchase Sugar. It is really, really light. The nice thing about it is, is you can use it on the centre of your lip to create quite a nice colour. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm not sure if I would really use Sugar that much. Um, but the packaging of these is beautiful. And I think there's quite a lot of product in there. I mean, it says there is 12 millilitres. So I... I mean, I think for a lipstick lip product, that's quite a lot. It looks like quite a lot anyway. Um, so yeah, I just got the shades Sugar and Nude. Nude has turned out to be one of my all-time favourites. Guys, I love this colour. And they're kind of in between like a lipstick finish and like a matte finish. It's really, really unique. Um, this is the Nude shade. Uh, the packaging of these is so gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to end up buying all of these, I can already see it. Um, we can only get them from the Debenhams website, I believe, in the UK. So I will leave a link to that below for any of you guys from the UK who want to know where to get Too Faced goodies. I think Debenhams is your safest bet. 
And the last two things I picked up are from Space NK. My lovely flatmates got me a voucher from Space NK for my birthday, as you guys might have seen in my birthday haul way back in February, and I had not spent it. So it was about time that I went into Space NK and picked up a couple bits. The first thing I got was this NARS All Day Weightless Foundation. I used to use this, and I loved this foundation, guys. It was like my favourite foundation. Now, I don't know if they've changed the formula or if it's just the fact that I haven't really really shaken it hard enough but it just seems really quite watery I don't remember it being that watery so kind of on the fence as you guys can see this is not my shade this is in light three um, and it's called Gobi I'm kind of annoyed I don't know what to do I haven't actually used the foundation yet it looks really messy but I've not actually used it I've just put it on the back of my hand which is so annoying because it does look like I've used it this is not my shade or whatsoever. I went in there and she tried this on and, I, and it did go with my skin at the time because I hadn't been on holiday, but I said to her, I get really brown on holiday, like this is not gonna suit me. And she was like, it will, it will, like you're really not gonna get that dark and everything. And I was completely like, I felt bad because she was a really nice girl and I bought the foundation and I shouldn't have bought the foundation because this is not my colour whatsoever. It's light three. Even when I'm not tanned, I fake tan my my body. So, oh, I'm really frustrated about this. Um, I used to have the shade Valerie's or something. I can't remember the exact name, but it was like medium 3.5 or something. It was really quite dark, but it suited my skin tone and like me when I was tanned. So I don't know what to do. I'm really like distressed about this, but... It's a nice foundation nonetheless. I hope maybe like in the winter time I can make it work. Um, the other thing I got from NARS, which I'm really happy about, is this um, eyeshadow in the shade Himal Himalaya. Himalaya, yeah, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, like I said, I'm going to link everything below. So, And I'm really excited. I never purchased these single um, eyeshadows anymore. Just for practical reasons, I like a palette. I like that I can have like 10 eyeshadows in a palette and transport it wherever I need. And also when I'm just doing my makeup, I don't necessarily get a load of single eyeshadows out and use them all. However, this colour is so beautiful, I could not pass it up. It's kind of like this metallic sort of like goldy colour. It's just so, so pretty. I had to purchase it. Okay guys, so that is about it for all the goodies I recently picked up. I hope this video wasn't too boring for you and I hope you enjoyed it in some way or another. Please get requesting videos because I'm kind of having a bit of a block on what to film, so let me know. A couple of you guys let me know that you wanted to see like Full Face Makeup Academy or like Full Face, um, like a branded makeup and just do my whole face with that makeup. I'm really happy to do that. I think some people were slightly disappointed with my Primark one. Um, I want to say sorry about that. I didn't intentionally like not use Primark products just a lot of them weren't right for me they didn't suit my skin tone so I wasn't going to buy something that was the wrong skin tone but I think people felt that maybe they were misled in that video so I'm really really sorry but I'd happily do some other branded um, ones like that so please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed I will be doing a giveaway and I can promise you that I'm just wanting to get the right thing for you guys I don't want to get something that's kind of like not great so there will be a get upcoming giveaway um, I'm sorry it's taken me a while to sort of do one but there will be one um, I hope you'll have a great day and I will see you all in my next video bye guys